In order to solve problems uh, with guitar strings or musical instruments, you need to know a little bit about standing waves. So I'm going to give a brief little uh, explanation of standing waves. Uh, if this was a guitar string and you plucked it, waves would be traveling back and forth. It doesn't look like the waves traveling back and forth, you just see it vibrating up and down. That's why we call it a standing wave. It's really created when a wave is traveling along a string, bounces off the other end, and comes back. If the wave I'm sending looks like this, then as that wave works its way over to the other side, it gets over to here, reflects, and comes back. When it comes back, at some point, it'll look like this. And what you'll see is the guitar string vibrate up and down here, up and down here, up and down here, up and down here. But at this point, the guitar string will be sitting still. So it's called a standing wave. It's a, it's a spring or a string vibrating like this up and down. It's continually moving waves this way, but it just looks like the string is vibrating up and down. Now, we have some parts we need to label. These, where the string is not moving, they're called nodes. The part where the string is moving up and down rapidly, that's called an antinode. So these are antinodes in that vibrating string. It doesn't always look like this. We don't necessarily always have four loops. Each one of these loops is made up of part of a wave. There's the wave that's creating it. And since that's the wave that's creating it, that's the wavelength. So two of these loops are equal to the wavelength, which means every node-to-node -node distance is half a wavelength. Okay? So if we have a guitar string and it's vibrating like this, simply vibrating up and down, we know that this is one half lambda. So if the guitar string is 30 centimeters long and you pluck it, how long is the wave that's making that sound? Well, if it's 30 centimeters from here to here, the node distance, that's half a wavelength. So then the wave must actually be double that, 60 centimeters. So when I pluck a guitar string a certain way, and I get this pattern of the string vibrating up and down, if the guitar string is 30 centimeters long, I know the wave is 60 centimeters. And I need that number to do calculations for that string. So in the next couple of videos we're going to have, uh, we're going to be looking at strings and tension and wavelength.